Hello, I just wanted to jump on and do this quick video. I do have a word from the Lord, and I know it is from God because I'm going to tell you something. You know, you have a good word. The enemy try to come in to prevent you in every way from getting that word out. But God is good because we're going to get this word out today. So I'm going to say a quick prayer, and then I'm going to get into it. Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for this word that you've given me today for your people, Lord. I pray that there be less of me and more of you, God. May your power shine through me, Lord. Thank you for using me as your vessel, Lord. I'm honored to be a vessel, and I, I pray that every word that I give gives glory to your name, Lord. I pray that it blesses your people and transforms their life according to your will. And in my name of Jesus, we pray and we thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen and amen. Uh, the word is, the name of the word is congratulations. Congratulations are in order. Congratulations are due. Congratulations, you've been accepted. Congratulations on your upcoming uh, nuptials. Congratulations on your reconciliation. Congratulations on your engagement. Congratulations, you have defied the odds. Congratulations, uh, you're graduating. Congratulations on your offer. Congratulations, you've been approved. Congratulations on your deal. Congratulations on your pregnancy. Congratulations on the birth of your baby. Congratulations, your promise has been delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Congratulations are in order. And this is the word that he gave me. Congratulations are in order. You no longer live in fear. You no longer worship fear. It is time to birth the promise. God says, because you believe your promise is being fulfilled, because you love me, you are free indeed. Because you abide in me, you are attached to the vine and bear much fruit. Because you believe you will receive everything I came to the earth to provide. You will lack nothing because you have believed. Congratulations are in order. You have birthed your promise suddenly, swiftly. It will not delay because I, the Lord, will make it happen. Hallelujah. Now, I wanted to get into the, the verse, the Habakkuk 2, 3. Um, for the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end, will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. We need to, to really focus in on that last part, it, that last part, and it will not delay. It will not delay. It will not delay. Meaning, it will not delay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Oh, then he touched uh, Matthew 9, 29. Then he touched their eyes and said, according to your faith, let it be done to you. Also, 2 Peter 3, 9. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. You have come to that stage where you repent. You have come to that stage where when you do wrong, um, you repent right away. Um, you have come to that stage where you put God first and you, you, you've you come from up under them. You are not unequally yoked. You have given up a lot of things. You have sacrificed a lot because you love the Lord and God sees that and it's, it's time. He's not slow fulfilling his promise. It's time. God says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, Ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. Amen. Oh, and last, Joshua 23, 14. Now I am about to go the way of all the earth. You know with all your heart and soul that not one of all the good promises the Lord your God gave you has failed. Every promise has been fulfilled. Not one has failed. Every promise has been fulfilled fulfilled that means it's already done not one has failed meaning it's already been tested it's already been proved it's, it's it has not failed it, it's not going to fail it's not going to fail not one has failed let's go into that more uh second corinthians 120 for all the promises of god find their yes in him mm, let's read that again second corinthians 120 for all the promises of God find their yes in him. All the promises of God find their yes in him. That is why it is through him that we utter our amen to God for his glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. And yes, and also, so if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. That's John 8, 36. So congratulations are in order. It's time to receive. 
You have, have entered a season of rejoicing. You have taken risks. You have stepped out on faith because you believed in God. You listened to that still silent voice to believe. You've had faith to, be, to believe in the, in the unseen. When with all the odds against you, you believed. You believed and your faith will be rewarded. Because faith is the, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, the evidence. How can you have evidence? Evidence means it's proof, right? That's what your faith has done for you. Because you stepped out on faith, you're going to hear very soon, congratulations, you've been approved. Congratulations, you've graduated. Congratulations, you've been accepted. Congratulations on your reconciliation. Congratulations on your upcoming move. Congratulations, the deal has come through. <laughs> Congratulations, you have defied the odds. Congratulations on your miracle baby. Congratulations, you have lost 30 pounds. It is time. It is due you. It's due season. Amen. Amen. That's the word that he gave me today. Quick word. Congratulations. Amen.